Hello and welcome friends. Let us take another case involving reverse calculation. In this case, the data is of 25 observations and probable error has been given. We have two information and sample size 25 and probable error 0 0.025631 and we need to calculate coefficient of correlation. First of all, the formula of probable error is now friends. Uh, when we need to calculate a factor which is not the subject of the formula, that means that is not the final answer we get after applying formula, but it is part of formula. And when we need to find out the value of that type of factor which is part of formula and not the subject of formula, always the starting point should be the formula of the main thing which is subject of the formula and normally it is readily available or its value is readily available in such type of questions. So first of all in this case we should write the formula of probable error because from the information available the probable error is the thing which can be calculated by a formula and cannot be calculated by a formula. Out of these two, probable error can be calculated by a formula. To find or rather to solve this type of problem, it is advisable to write the formula of that thing. Probable error equals to 0.6745 into 1 minus coefficient square upon under root n. Now let us substitute the values. 0.025631. Equals to 0.6745 into 1 minus coefficient square upon under root 25. That means 0 0.025631 equals to 0.6745 into 1 minus coefficient square upon 5. Now what? This 5 will go into multiplication with this and 0.6745 as a division or as a divisor. So it will be now 0 0.025631 into 5 divided by 0 0.6745 that equals to 1 minus coefficient square. Therefore 1 minus coefficient square equals to 0.19. Therefore 1 minus 0.19 equals to coefficient square. So ultimately the coefficient square is 0.81. But 0.81 is the squared value. It can either be the square of a negative value or a square of a positive value. So we now don't know exactly coefficient is positive or negative. So the correct final answer is coefficient equals to under root 0.81 but that must be positive or negative anything. So ultimately the final answer is the coefficient of correlation equals to plus or minus positive or negative 0.9. Mind well students you need to write these two signs because we don't know 0.81 is here as a squared value of minus 9 or plus 9. So both possibilities are there that means the coefficient can take negative value or positive value. That's it. Thank you very much.